Welcome lads to another episode here on the P Distinct channel. In today's video, as you guys see on the title, man. Whoa, why am I so bright like a diamond? Hold up. Okay, that's a little better. Anyways, in today's video, we are going to be installing a mod in the Nissan Z. I was gonna say G35, but I gotta stick to my roots, man. The roots was everything that looked so cool, like in the Fast and the Furious movies. I wanted to do it, aka Ricer mods. I don't give a what it is i am going to install it but here's the catch you can actually order a nissan z and order this mod straight from factory and you can see it right here it is interior lighting footwell lighting that you can install for absolutely 445 dollars does it look like i got 445 dollars but if you look at that picture not only does it install lighting inside of the footwell which we're going to be doing today it also lights up the freaking cup holder which is pretty neat i did not know that it is not 445 dollars neat but it's pretty neat and worth the last i mean anyways we went ahead ordered this from amazon you already know we did it on the g35 and we're gonna do it to this as well just a little touch up you know I, it's cool man it's cool i like i don't, I don't care what you have it's pretty cool. It was only $15. I'm going to leave the link down in the description below. $15, man. Are you serious? You cannot beat it. So let's go ahead, grab those lights, install it in the Z, and then we're going to go ahead, hop on the G35, and take it to clear the check engine light because we already replaced the sensors. Quick pause. Before I begin this video, I got to say huge thanks to today's sponsor, Simply Carbon Fiber. Simply Carbon Fiber produces your favorite accessories in real carbon fiber. Phone cases, wallets, watches, necklaces, you name it. And I'll be 100% real with you guys. I have never received a compliment about my phone case ever in my life until I got this carbon fiber phone case. So that's how you know this is a pretty sick piece. So I will go ahead and put the link down in the description down below and cop yourself some freaking carbon fiber, man. A little quick cold startup with a downpipe stock cat back exhaust. Here we go. It's a little louder than stock. It's a little louder. But still gotta make the video on five things I hate about the Nissan Z, man. I'm actually super happy to make that video. I don't give up. All right, guys, so this is the kit. This is the Crit Govi. Which, by the way, before I even begin this video, breaking news here on the Z, I literally just got a call. There's been a new recall, and my VIN number is on there, so I've got to actually go to Nissan um, to actually order the parts. It's re transmission related, so we're going to go to Nissan to Sacramento, order those parts for the transmission. I have no idea what parts they are. Bummer. So anyways, back to the video. This is the new kit. You guys know your traditional Govi. So here's my strategy with this. I want to make this look as clean as possible obviously like from factory and but well, this thing's cigarette lighter so we're gonna have to figure that out but we're gonna do the layout right now see how it's gonna we're gonna lay it out see how we want it and then we're gonna go ahead and install it but something pretty neat is that this is a cigarette lighter and there's a cigarette lighter down here which means we can possibly hide this all right guys so we went ahead and darken this place up a little bit because we're about to test it um i'm not done yet i just want to test the where the lighting is gonna be. You guys have a freaking laundry machine that plays that freaking sound? Oh, man. So before my G35, you have to light up the footwell where you're driving right in the passenger side. And then we also had a back seat, so you had to put it underneath the seat, right? But in this one, we only have two seats, which is cool. So we can use the other two lighting to light up either the back here or light up the roof. I really wanna light up the roof so that the inside looks freaking lit, right? So actually, let's make sure it works. Okay, so uh, I put the button right here on the side, very discreet, very nice. Put the on button. Nope, not working. What's going on here, buddy? Oh, duh, you gotta push the button. There you go. It should work now. Oh, there you go. Now we're talking, now we're having a party. For those wondering how I'm able to close, Nissan actually designed a little slit here on the side. I don't know if y'all can see it. Designed a little slit there on the side, so you can actually pass your cables through there, which is freaking sick. All right, guys, I think I may have found the perfect spot. I wanted something that you can't really tell. I hate when the LED shows. I hate when it shows. Like, have you ever seen those underglow cars looking like this where you can see the underglow shine on the ground, but you can also see the freaking light bulbs on the side because it's just so badly installed. All right, guys, I finished installing the passenger side and tell me this is not factory. Do you see any wires? Do you see any wires? You see the wires passing on the side? Nothing? Wait, where are the wires? And yet it's installed, bro. You don't believe me? You're like, bro, you're lying, bro. You have not installed. There's no way you have no wires. Bro, let me let me start up the car for you guys. Factory 
installed OEM lights, bro. Factory, bro. No wires. Where, where are the wires, bro? Where? Let's go ahead and dim down the lights here. Let's go ahead and turn this off. It probably still won't be 100% dark in here. But I'll still show you guys. And I'll show you guys the subtleness and everywhere now in darkness. All right, here we go. Hopping in the new Z. Boom. Okay, I don't know why I turned on the car, but look at this, bro. Let the lights dim down. Perfect, bro. Factory lighting, bro. This looks exactly like the picture from Nissan, bro. Look at this. Straight from Nissan, bro. Are you kidding me? This is the back. Uh, as you can see, we cannot light up the roof. It lights up the roof a little bit. Not too much. You, you probably can't see it on camera. But in, in, in person, this is very, very dimly lit up. Not too much like we wanted to. But the back, it's all about who's in the inside, okay? This is ambient lighting. It's for the people in the inside. There you go. That's what it looks like in real life. But uh, let's go back so you guys can see the brightness. Bro, that thing is Fire. Are you kidding me for $15? And there you guys have it. That's how you install some properly uh, ambient lighting inside your car without looking at all like wires crazy and everything. So that's how you do it. Cable runs right here and then you pretty much just lift this skid panel right here. You lift it up. There's some clips. Be careful. You lift it up right here. You pass the wires through there and try to tuck them in. There's some little clips in here. Just hide it underneath there. Hide it in, hide it in. And then when you get to this part, this part right here is also just two clips. So just be careful. And then what you're going to do, you're not going to pass it through the bottom. You're going to actually pass it through the top. Pass it through the top. And then you can see right there the wire. You can see the LED is right there. And then you can see the wire comes out through the top. That way it's really tucked in. You don't have any wires here in between or anything. It's very clean, as you guys see. But right now, we'll say bye to the Z. Temporarily, take the G35, clear that check engine light, and then when we come back, hopefully it'll be nighttime, we'll take out the Z, and I'll show you guys the ambient lighting inside the Z at nighttime. Take some nice pictures. All right, guys, let's head in the G35. All right, will it start? We will never know. my seatbelt i just need to plug in the seatbelt for that and then the airbag i can't get that airbag to freaking shut off i know a lot of you guys have tried to help me and i just i just never can i, I can't it's it's the freaking seatbelt i mean the seatbelt the seat like 50 to 100 bucks oh i thought my car was broken but it's that janky old truck up front that thing sounded nasty that fool that fool thinks he's fast bro let's go catch him I haven't even used it yet. This, this is literally the <laughs> second time I've used it, bro. Oh, oh, <laughs> Alright guys, it is nighttime. I also have my other different lens. You might notice that the thing is more zoomed in. But look at the LEDs, man. Fire. I'm a little Scottish girl. All right, guys, here's the final product. Factory installed ambient lighting inside the Nissan Z. Let's take you give it to him. Come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby, check that out. Sheesh. Check that out, baby. That's footwells. What the back kind of looks like. That's fire. Bing. Driver's side. Boom. That thing looks sick. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. $15 right here compared to the $450 if you want to go have Nissan do it for you, but not bad. Let me know what you guys think.